Hi, I'm Old Norse Specialist Dr. Jackson Crawford. I'm back today to continue my read-through in Old Norse of the text of Havamal, giving some light explanatory commentary as I go, hopefully to help people who uh, might be trying to read Havamal for the first time, perhaps uh, using my own recently published edition of Havamal, The Wanderer's Havamal, which also has my English translation and uh, somewhat different kind of commentary. And uh, I assume if you've been watching these videos, you probably already know all the disclaimers. Uh, I use reconstructed medieval rather than modern Icelandic pronunciation. The runes you'll see on the screen are not uh, the writing system in which Havamal is preserved. They are my own educated guess of how the text of Havamal could have been written in the late Viking Age. And uh, uh, whatever else people are going to criticize, just assume I made a disclaimer about it. All right, so this video covers 121 to 137. We are deep into the middle of Lodfalpnes Mall here. So most of these stanzas start with what I will just refer to as the usual Lodfalpnes Mall formula. I will only read it in the first stanza in this video, stanza 121. It's these first four lines. Rothum kther Lodfalpnir at thu Rothnemir njota mundu if thu nemer, ther munu goud, if thu getter. Vin thinum, ver thu aldregi, fyri at flaumslitum. Sorg etter hjarta, if thu segja ne noer, ein hverjum allan hug. So first we have that usual Lodfolfn small formula. I advise you, Lodfolfnir, that you take my advice. It'll do you good if you learn it. It will be good for you if you get it. And then the specific advice in this stanza, be you never verthu aldregi, earlier fieri at joy-breaking flaum sletom with your friend, thinom vin. So don't be the first one to break friendship with your friend. Sorrow eats the heart, sorg etter hjarta, if you don't get evthu ne nowhere to say, segja, to someone, ein huerium, your whole mind, alan hug. 122, after the usual load fault and small formula. Ordum skifta, thu skalt aldregi, vid osvina apa. You must never, thu skalt aldregi, exchange words, skifta, ordum, with an unwise fool, vid osvina Apa. 123 continues that thought. Fiat av illum mani mundu aldregi goths laun um geta, en gother mother munthic gerva mega leekenfasten at lovi. Because from a bad man, fiat av illum mani, you will never, thu is a suffix to munt will here. So, thu, mut thu is his mundu. You will never, aldregi, get, get a repayment loan for good, goths. So, you'll never get uh, re repaid well for something good done uh, for or something good said to a bad man. But a good man and godr mother will m be able to make you, mun mega gerva thick, likenfasten, liking firm popular, well-regarded, something like that, by means of praise at lovi, or favor. Praise probably in a, in a, uh, would be the right way to take it here. 124. Sivium ertho blandat, fuer ersegia rather, enum allan hu. Alt er betra, ense brigdum at vera, Era so vinner odrum, er vilt eit segir. So, peace is, P-E-A-C-E, -E, are then blended. Now, 
In Old Norse, when you make something passive, you retain the case of the object of the verb if it is something of an accusative. Blanda takes a dative object, so since we're blending piece is sieve, then we still have sivium in the uh, in the dative, even though in English this would be grammatically subject grammatically nominative. Uh, so pieces are blended. Also notice that it's singular. Uh, the verb er is singular. It's quite normal in, in Old Norse passive formations. Each one who is able to say where er rather segja to one and them all on hug all is mine so how you want to take this kind of depends on what you're willing to do with sieve a sieve is a piece often a piece among family members and um, it also could just possibly be taken as a, a dative plural to something like sebi mines uh, which I think is actually probably not very far from what's being thought of here. Minds are blended uh, when someone is able to say to someone else uh, his whole mind. Although you could also maybe say something like peace is shared when someone is able to say to someone else all of his mind. Everything is better, alt er betra, than it may be and say to be at vera with the deceitful. Brigthom. Now, brigter is an adjective that means deceitful. Here, we don't have a noun mentioned, but we can assume that this is an adjective for someone who is deceitful being used as a noun, just like we might say in English, it's better to be with the true than the untrue, we're using the adjective to stand for the noun. So better to be, everything is better than to be with the deceitful, probably, although even the preposition with isn't stated there, so still a little bit of inference. That one, saw, is not, er, a, negative suffix, a on er, is, a friend to others, vinner, Odrum, who er says segir what is wanted vilt alone eight so it's not a true friend if he's a yes man One twenty-five after the usual Lord Fulton Small formula. Trimmer ordum senna, scalatu ther vid vera man, oft in betri bilar, tho erin veri beggar. So, you shall not scalatu, with thu as well as at the negative suffix suffix on skal must shall. You shall not. You must not. Have a verbal competition, senna, of even three words, tremor orthum, with a worse man, vid verraman, than yourself, there, or for yourself, being kind of a, uh, what we call dummy dative. Uh, like when you say in English, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take, me, uh, take me a shower or something like that, get me some food. So you ought not to exchange even three words with a worse man. Often, oft, the better man loses in betri bilar when tho er, the worse one in veri, fights. So, don't talk to, peop to, to worse people. If you get into a fight with them, they may still win. In fact, they often win. 126, after the usual load fall from the small formula. Sko smither thu verir ne skepti smither nema thu sjálfum þér sér skor er skapaður illa eða skapt sér rangt þó er þér bolsbeðit May you be verir a shoesmith nor a spear shaft smith so don't be a shoemaker, don't be a spear maker, unless nema, you, thu, be, ser, for yourself, sjolvum ther. The shoe is shaped badly, skor, skapadar illa, kind of understand it, if here, 
or the shaft be crooked and the skaft say rant, then Tho is upon you er ther called bevid a curse, bols. And you call uh, things of someone, someone, things of someone in the genitive, so that's why it's bols. So basically don't make stuff except for yourself, because if you do it a little bit off, someone is going to curse you. I guess you could add, don't translate off them all except for yourself as, as others will curse you, right? You can say this about pretty much anything and it's probably true. 127 after the usual Lord Hope and Small formula. Hwarsthu bol kadnt, kvedu that bolvi at, o gevat thinum fjondum frid. Wherever hwars, hwars, you recognize thu kant evil bol say kvedu it that at evil at bolvi and ok give not gevat peace frid to your enemies thinum fiondum now that second line, which is in the whole stanza, one, two, three, four, five, six, a sixth line, has an ambiguous abbreviation in the manuscript, where what we have is the letter thorn with a, uh, an abbreviation mark that could stand for the word thought, it, or the word there, you. So it could potentially say, say, not, not just something like, when you recognize evil, say that it is evil, but when you recognize evil, say it is evil for you, right? A little bit more altruistic. It, recognize anything that's bad as being potentially bad for you. I think that altruistic reading is pretty alien to the tone of most of all them all. So I prefer reading it as just thought, say that it is evil. 128, after the usual Lord Fulp the Small formula. Illu fegin verthu aldregi en lot fer at godu get it. Be you, verthu, never, aldregi, happy at badness, bad things, fegen illu. But let yourself and lot there be pleased with, get it at, and so uh, get a at idiomatically is, is to be pleased with, the good, go do. So never be happy about the bad, but be pleased with the good. Of course, none of us are ever happy when something bad happens to us. Presumably, this is something like don't rejoice in evil things that might happen to someone else, uh, but be happy at the good things that might happen to someone uh, instead, right? Probably not. It, again, this probably isn't an altruistic sense, but instead of rejoicing in, uh, in sort of a schadenfreude, instead be happy for the good things that might happen to people you like. 129 after the Lord Fulton Small formula. Up lita scalatu i orustu. Gialti glikir verda gumna sinir. Sither thit um heli halir. You must not scalatu. Look up lita up in battle i orustu. Sons of men, gumna sinir, i.e., men, become verda like. Glikir, a gyalt. Come back to this word. Lest seether men halir enchant heli your thit. Now, your what? Presumably, this could be read as something like how in English you might uh, kind of colloquially just say, well, you know, your business, meaning your, your stuff. Or, or you could read as thit geth, something like that, like your mind. But at any rate, the gyalt is uh, actually an uh, old Irish concept. A person who kind of goes wild after their first battle goes off and lives in the woods, just sort of shell-shocked. And uh, so the advice here is that you ought not to look up in battle lest someone enchant you so that you also uh, get shell-shocked in such a way and perhaps run off into the woods and, and live as kind of a wild man. 130. After the usual load fault and small formula. Eb thu vilt ther go the konu. Kvedia at gaman runum, ok vo fognuth av, fogru skaltu heita, ok lota fast vera, leivisk 
man gigot ev getter. If you want, ev thu vilt, a good woman, go the kono. If you want to to speak to her, to make speech with her, kvedia, in joy speech, gaman rune. Remember that rune can mean just talk, not just runes. So if you want to, to talk joyfully with a good woman, would more or less be what I would do with these first two lines after the formula. And get joy, joy from, okfo fognu av. You must, skaltu thu, suffixed skalt, promise heta prettily, beautifully, fogru, and let it be, oklota ferra, fast, firm. So promise good things and, and keep your promises. No man, mangi, hates a good thing, lay this got, if he gets it, ev getter, with, of course, uh, words like thing and it left out in Old Norse, which typically uh, lets us infer uh, such basic grammatical function words, unlike English. 131, after the usual load fault the small formula. Varan bidek thik vera, ok egi ov varan. Ver thu vid ol varastar, ok vid anars konu. Ok vid that it tridia, at jovar ne leiki. So, I ask you to be, ek bid thik vera, wary, varan and not over-weary, over-varan, so weary but not fearful. Be wariest ver varaster against eil with ol, so uh, with thu there to emphasize the, the ver, the, the, you know, you be, be most wary with eil, and with okvith, another man's anars woman, konu. And with that the third, okvithat, that at thieves, thiovar, not play, ne leiki, so that you not be uh, subject to the play of thieves, that thieves not play you, that they not, uh, not be given free reign by you. 132. At hodi ne lotri habdu aldregi gest ne ganganda. So never have, aldregi have thu, with thu suffix to have, have, never have at mockery, at holy, nor laughter, ne lotri, a guest, guest, nor a wanderer, ne gonganda. 133 kind of continues the thought. Oft vitu o garla, ther er sitia inni furir, hwers theru kuns er coma, erat mother swog oder, at galli ne fylgi, ne svo illar at enugi dugi. So, often, oft, those who there er sitia sit inside, inni, before, fyrir, presumably before the door. So, these people who are sitting inside by the door, often, no imperfectly, vitu ogorla, of what kind, hwers, Kins, they are, theru, who come, er coma. Uh, this is one of my favorite stanzas, and it's also a great example of how different the word order in the Old Norse original can be than anything that makes sense in English. So often those who sit inside before, probably at the door, again, with Old Norse leaving out the object of a preposition as it often does, imperfectly know what kind of person it is who's coming, right, who's perhaps knocking at the door. No man is so good, or a man is not so good, mother erat svogodr, that flaw not follows at galli ne filgi. So no man is so good that he has no flaw, nor so bad, ne svo iller, at dugi, that, and then he must be supplied, that he avails for, that he is good for, nothing, enugi. 134, after the usual opening formula, at horum thul, Hlaðu aldregi, oft er gott that er gamlir kveða. Oft or skorpum belg skilin orð koma, þeim er hangir með hón, og skollir með skrón, og vavir með vilmogum. 
So never aldregi laugh la thu with thu suffix la laugh at a gray haired thuler horum thul. Now thuler being some kind of archaic uh, office in the Germanic uh, language world. Probably something like orator or 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 or, or poet, something like that. Something at the someone fairly close to a king though. Not, not in the sense that the, the position is king-like, but that these people sit seemingly fairly close to figures of authority. Like uh, the classic example of, of, of a thuler would be um, unfair thin uh, Beowulf. Often is good, oft er got, that which, that er, old gamlir speak, kveda. So often the old speak good things. Often, oft, out of a sharp bag or scorpum belg. Now that can also be withered, and the bag is presumably the mouth of, uh, of this withered old man. So often out of a, a withered mouth, an old mouth, come understanding words, called maskilin orth. I think these last three lines are, are difficult for everyone. From that one, Thame, who hangs with skins at hunger med home and hangs with skins ok skaller med skrom and waves ok vavir med with and then what is vilmogum first of all what is going on with the hanging with skins uh, there's a lot of explanations one of the oldest explanations that makes decent sense is the notion that these are uh, sacrificed men or sacrificed animals um, that are being hanged perhaps some kind of Thuler being perhaps an almost shamanic-like figure, although that's probably uh, an anachronistic and, and somewhat inappropriate word to use in this context, is, is hanging among the hanged to try to seek some kind of wisdom, much as Othan himself is going to hang himself in Sansa 138. Very hard to know. Fielmogum, this could be um, uh, a word for despicable people uh, that is known in at least one of the plays. Uh, Jonas Christensen and uh, Vestin Olason have proposed that it actually means uh, animal guts, veal, stomachs, mogum. So hanging with bags and also hanging with uh, uh, pieces of animals to be made into sausage or something like that. Uh, so perhaps this person is hanging, maybe literally and figuratively, with uh, with the dead, and it might not just be religious sacrifice dead, but also perhaps uh, dead to be butchered animals that are that are going to be eaten. Very hard to know. The stance is pretty obscure, and no one has ever 100% satisfactorily explained it. 135 after the usual formula. Guest thu ne goya ne o grind rakir. Get thu volodum vel. So, don't mock goya. You. A guest, guest, nor, and then here, I think my addition at the Wanderers Hall Mall is the only place you're going to see Hrek here, here. Um, although that is what I read there. So in the uh, in the text, it's spelled H R and then O with a hook K. Uh, and then I, I think it has an abbreviation that's that's clearly for I R. Now that vowel is not the O hook vowel that you see in so many Old Norse words in printed editions. Instead, in the Codex Regis manuscript, that actually usually means the vowel that we print as a, the A-E, uh, ligature ash in Old English. Now, that would mean uh, spits. It's actually related to English ret, right? That, that action. Um, so what's going on here? Um, my, my interpretation of this is just letting it be crack here instead of trying to change it into to uh, hook here, hook here to drive off. I think actually gives a more interesting sense. So don't mock a guest, nor nay, nor may you spit crack here on the entrance or grind. Maybe there's some kind of underlying belief here about spitting at the entrance of someone who is an unknown uh, guest at a house, right? Trying to protect yourself, perhaps from some kind of magical effect or, or other, like an evil eye or something that this this unknown guest might be bringing. Treat you get through well. The poor Voludum. 136. Ramt ertha tre erida skal, allum at up loki. 
Baug thu gev eitha that bydia mun, ther las wers o lidu. This one has also caused some difficulties. Strong is that tree, rampte that tre, which shall ride er skal ritha for all olum at, uh, at entrance, at uploki, or admittance. I've taken this various different ways. Other people have too. Uh, right now, I would say what I think is the best explanation is actually saying that the, the bar that bars a door needs to be strong and yet it is a strong one that is also still letting everyone in. So you need to be strong enough to resist those who might do you harm, but be generous enough to let everybody in. Give, 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 you give, give through a ring, baug. Or it will be called at the thought mun bidia on you there every kind of curse or harm, wish lass, onto limbs or leave you. So here again we see that one, something is called in the genitive, called for, calling for a curse on all your, your limbs, and that thing called for the each curse, wish lass, is genitive. Now 137 we get what seem to be some magical remedies. After the usual Lord Fulton small formula, horse thu old Kios thu ther yarthar megin, Thviat yorth tekar vith ultri, an elder vith sotum, Ek vith abbindi, Ax vith fjolkengi, Hill vith hiroki, Heftum skal monaquedia, Beti vith bit sotum, and vith bolvi runar, Fold skal vith flow the taka. Wherever wars you thu. May drink drekir ale all. Choose you, kios thu, for yourself there, earth's strength, yardar megin. Because thviat, earth yor, receives tekar vid, ale drinking ultri. And fire, elder, and then with, so we can say, you know, it's good against or it receives, I'll just say against here, against sicknesses, sotum. Oak against irritable bowel, ache with appendi. Wheat, ox, an ear of wheat, not, not an axe, but an ear of wheat, against magic fjolkingi. Elder tree, hull, this is, I believe, um, this is a, an earlier commentary, I think it was David A.H. Evans who proposed reading hull here as, as hull, elder tree, rather than hall, hole, um, which doesn't make as much sense. It could be either based on the way things are spelled in the manuscript, but, but I think elder tree is better particularly since we've got other uh, tree and plant related things. So elder tree against family strife, he rogi. And then we have what's more or less a parenthetical line. I'll come back to this. And then bait, baiti, worms against bite sicknesses, bit sotum, venomous bites, and runes and runar against evil, with bolvi. Earth fold shall receive takavid flood, flow thee. So a lot of magical remedies. And we have what looks like a kind of parenthetical line. One shall, skull, swear kvedya hates heftum by the moon, mona, under the moon perhaps. Uh, or perhaps one shall call on the moon, kvedya mona, against hates, 151. Difficult to know uh, what to do exactly there. But notice that in 151, we have the man who summons hates against me, than hal er kveder hefta mik. So I tend to think that what's going on is you're sort of summoning your hates, you're sort of swearing your hates by the moon or under the moon, for whatever particular reason, of course, this is very cryptic. And uh, probably was also cryptic already for the scribe transmitting this in written form. Well, I hope this has been a somewhat interesting or informative look at the text of these stanzas of Havamal for you. In the uh, next video in the series, begin with 138, although I've already done a much closer look at 138 and 139 in a separate video, I'll link in a card here, um, so I won't go over those in length again. I hope if you haven't yet that you'll take a look at the Wanderer's Hovemal with the facing page text, uh, Old Norse text taken straight from the Codex Regis manuscript with minimal 
uh, alteration and as much as I can, uh, minimal interpretation, just trying to let the text say what it says and uh, carefully revised English translation, plus a commentary and uh, introduction and some related text, and of course, the cowboy hall of them all. For now, from beautiful Colorado, let me wish you all the best.